Hi, I'm Sean with JDS Industries, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sublimate the slide sandals. Uh, this is a sandal that has a removable flap that you sublimate. It has these little tabs on here, so after you sublimate, you can pull them through the sandal and create uh, your own customizable sandal. Um, the things that we need today for to do this uh, sublimation, we need the sandals, of course. We need the lint roller, because we're going to lint roll the, uh, the slide, the flap. We need the uh, transfer. This is made with sawgrass inks. And we need a few tools. Um, this is a repositionable spray. We're going to use that, this to adhere the uh, substrate to the transfer to keep that in place as we get it to the press. And then we're also going to use uh, scissors to cut the transfer and a few needle nose pliers. This is going to be used after you sublimate. We're going to pull the, the tabs through the sole of the slide sandal and uh, that'll be a finished product after we're done. I like to use the smaller needle nose. This one is actually a, a snub nose. Uh, it fits through the holes a little better. Uh, the larger needle nose, you can do it with this one too, but it's a little bit large, so you might want to use a smaller one like this. Okay, so let's cut our transfer. And I've given myself uh, a nice big bleed edge uh, for this, so I'll show you what that looks like when it's on here. See, it's a, we've got quite a bit of a, a bleed edge that goes well beyond the borders of the, uh, the flap. And that prevents any mistakes uh, that might occur. You don't want to get the bleed too close. And the first, uh, before we sublimate, we're going to lint roll. If there's any stray fibers from the manufacturing process, we want to get those off. So we're going to lint roll both of these flaps here. Okay. And we're going to lightly spray the transfer with our repositionable spray. Don't need a lot. Position your flap onto the transfer. And then we'll take it to the press. All right, once in the press, you're going to want to make sure that you keep the tabs, the rubber tabs, outside of the press. You don't want to expose those to too much heat that could melt. So you can line your press up with, with as many flaps as you can, but you always want to make sure that those tabs are on the outside. We're going to be sublimating at 390 degrees for 50 seconds, light to medium pressure. I've got a layer of soft paper towel underneath my substrate and transfer to collect any stray ink that might be caused uh, when there's some degassing from the, from the bleed edge, the area that does not touch the transfer, or does not touch the substrate rather. Then I'm going to cover this with a non-stick cover, and I'll press light to medium pressure. Okay, release the pressure slowly. We don't want any double imaging happening. And remove the transfer immediately. All right, now you can see, this is the finished transfer. You can see quite a bit of that ink is transferred off. That means you have a good transfer. And that's the result. And then we'll go back and do the other flap. All right, after we're done sublimating, now we want to put these together. The, uh, the smaller needle nose works well because it fits into the, into the hole of the sole a little better than a larger one. So we're going to poke, what we're going to do is poke that needle nose through, grab the tab, and pull it through. And just do that for the, all three holes, then go back into the other, the other shoe. All right, bowl shoe is done. Uh, these make nice uh, corporate gifts and school gifts. Uh, we see a lot of this, where we see these used as uh, you know, kids will take their 
uh, their training shoes off or their uh, field shoes off and use these as a transition shoe uh, as they're uh, off the field. Then you can put school logos on here, corporate logos. They're a great gift, uh, great corporate gift, great school gift. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions about this product or any other sublimation products, you can contact us at 800-843-8853 or find us online, jdsindustries.com.